It has taken a huge toll on Zambia. AIDS. It kills about 45,000 people a year in this southern African country. An estimated one out of every eight Zambians is infected with the AIDS virus, HIV. I have been by the bedside. I know what it is. You are there hopelessly thinking, how can I change this situation? Jennifer Monza is a community counselor working to reduce the spread of HIV. We know the best way to protect ourselves by using condoms correctly and consistently. We have seen the messages on the billboards talking about ways for one to keep themselves safe, but people are still ignoring the messages. I think there's a combination of the message and the messenger. It wasn't targeted enough, it was very broad, and really people didn't identify with it. The solution? The government here teamed up with the U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID, to create public health messages that are more direct, more relevant, more effective. You can't just keep on telling people, do this and you live longer. At some point, you have to understand why they are not changing their behaviors, and then address this in your messaging. That meant first organizing focus groups around the country and listening to people talk about HIV prevention. The research revealed that many men consider the use of condoms a sign of weakness, something unmanly. So the project began challenging them with a new campaign, Are You Man Enough?, and involving local male celebrities. I want to talk to my brothers on how they can make sure they always use a condom. The focus groups revealed most women in Zambia don't feel comfortable asking for condoms or even discussing them. So the campaign tries to empower women to not only carry them, but how to ask a partner to use a condom. Tell him, babe, it feels good when I don't have to worry about what would happen as a result of not using a condom. You know, like unintended pregnancies and potential infections. The research data from across the country show that most Zambians believe that steady relationships, especially marriage, protect them from HIV. But the reality is... Many people in Zambia have extramarital affairs, so it would be dangerous to assume that my partner is uh, healthy all the time. So the new campaign emphasizes condom use not as a sign of suspicion, but a measure of love. Your health and your life are too important to risk it for a person who doesn't love you enough to want to protect you. Close up to so market on challenge, Lucia. Stand by, stand by. Three, Three, one, two, five. The project's single most ambitious effort? A weekly TV drama that integrates all its safe sex messages into a slick, unprecedented series called The Love Games. The messaging is different from before. It's now looking at sharing stories that are real and happening in the community, played by characters that are locally known, and that is having an impact. The messages are definitely cutting through to the people and they're changing the people's mindsets. They're beginning to realize it is okay to talk openly about sex. This is no longer a secret. People are very optimistic. People are very enthusiastic. We can win this battle as a team, as a nation. Things are definitely getting better.